Okay, welcome. This is Storywind about to play uh, Shadows uh, or Shadowmatic uh, as a first try, first attempt. Never played this before, and we'll see what it's like to learn on the go. Um, so, curious, we could check what options what options tells you. Okay, so that's not going to tell me anything. What about extras? I could look at game info and see what it says. That might be useful. That was a 3D puzzle. Okay, didn't know that. Uh, so you got to connect the shadows to form pictures. And that's the key. Okay, and then secondary objective, you might be able to make some additional silhouettes with this. Um, and then there's hidden silhouettes. Okay, and you can resort to hints. All uh, right, you get four hints. Okay, cool. Let's see. Let's see if this is kind of how intuitive this is. So we're going to hit play. Okay, oh, tutorial. All right, Let's see what this does. I have a rabbit. Okay, or it's a very weird looking rabbit. I can into a recognizable silhouette. Okay. With the object's orientation. Got it. I wonder what is a dog. Um, oh, use two fingers to spin clockwise. I got a rub I got a bunny rabbit. I got it. Okay, what? Okay, go ahead and make a silhouette of a rabbit. I think uh, I did that. Now I lost it. Uh, uh, don't you hate that when you get something and then they tell you it's not there anymore. Okay, so I don't want it this way. I want it back here. Okay, so I lucked into it before. Of course, you have the benefit of the rewind to see what I did. There we go. Ah, weird looking rabbit. That's not going to work. This is really weird. Oh, there's the the tail. There we go. Okay, we got it. Woohoo! I got a thousand points. Okay, so let's see what the next one is. Level point two. All right. So once you find it, we have this. What was it? Teapot? Oh, okay. So the progress measures how close you are to it. Got it. Oh. Didn't I guess the right teapot, right? Right? Didn't I know it? Before I didn't start, I should get bonus points for that. All right. So we're going to level, what, point three, I presume? Point three. Here we go. Okay, so I'm thinking elephant. Thinking elephant. Thinking I don't know what I'm talking. Whoa, whoa. Ship maybe. Huh. Hmm. Oh, fish. A fish. Oh. Okay. So I'm just turning it around again. See if I get a different angle. 
There's the fish. See? Wait. Okay. <clears throat> so that was interesting. I was kind of stuck with a two dot. Then I just kind of stopped and tried to play. Stop looking at the the power meter because that was a little bit throwing me off. And start looking at the figure more. All right. So sometimes a guess is good. I wonder camel maybe no. Not a camel. Donkey. No. What could it be? Ooh, whoa, whoa, look at that. Kung. Oh, hold on. How do you do that? Oh, I'm so close. There we go. Getting it just right. Karate. All right. That was point four. Not sure what that clue was supposed to be all about. <clears throat> oh, that's right, because there's supposed to be hidden ones. Somehow you get the hidden ones at the same time if you do it just right. See, this makes me like an arrow, maybe. Bow and arrow. Nope. That randomizer doesn't work. Oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, Cupid. Up on my shit. Come on, it's Cupid. What? Uh, there we go. We got Cupid. So it makes you kind of scary. It's like 0.5. Ready up, complete it. 4,000. All right, so what is, this is a video about tutorials, I guess. I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to learn from these tutorials. Oh, we got two pieces. Now you got an object with two, yes, I recognize that. You can talk, oh, you can talk between the pieces using the button in the bottom left-hand corner. That would be that, okay. Tap the button just like one of the pieces, tapped. Rotate it. Now select the other piece by tapping the button. Rotate it. Now see how long well, how to move two shells relative to each other. Okay. Tap and hold the button. Use one finger. Ducky. Oh, a chess piece. What? All right. Chess piece. But how do I get the... All right, hold on. That's what you do. You turn it. Turn, turn. And... Voila. Right, right, yeah. Okay. Here's some help. What? Okay. Well. Oh. I think that's supposed to balance it out. I need to think about. <clears throat> excuse me. Okay. Now I press it. Okay. That didn't work. Hmm. Oh, let me get that more centered. This is what I want. it out okay not bad for the novice round eh but wait there's more whatever there's like 10 levels 10 steps to the tutorial 
<clears throat> so let's see what this has for the offer. Two options. No, this time they don't tell you what it is. All right. So how do I have an idea what it is? I'd like to do it without hitting the hint button. Hmm. Not sure how this is going to work. Hmm. This is really strange. I wonder. I kind of like maybe a candle is what I'm thinking of. Not sure. Okay, let's see what the hint button says. Get a hint. Get a clue. Both ends are useful. Ooh. Let's do another one. Lever. So both ends are useful. And one's a lever. Okay. Well, I'm gonna be working on this one for a little bit. And it looks like I gotta take a break. So it's been good with you. And we're gonna take a little bit of a break and maybe continue this when I return. <laughs>